Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you need to find where the fuses and the relays for the heated steering wheel are located with fuses and relays, you need to check where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos. Guys we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so guys the fuses and the relays for the heated steering wheel where you can expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban here both vehicles are built on the same platform so it should work for both the only difference is the Suburban is a little bit longer now quick reminder guys nine out of ten people do not know that you have many hidden fuse boxes all over it so we we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban first you need to go ahead and open the driver door then guys here on the side of your dash okay here you have one cover pry that cover open behind it you have a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below for the heated steering wheel first let's find the fuse guys so we're going to zoom in that way you can clearly see what is going on here and if we zoom in guys we need to come in this row of fuses here Starting on the left, the first fuse is known as fuse 36, then you come to 37, that 7.5 amp fuse that you see here, that's the one that you need to check for the heated steering wheel. What about relays? You guys do not have a relay. This fuse is known as relay fuse, if you have problems with steering wheel, heated steering wheel not working, always check that fuse first and if you want to see what else can cause heated steering wheel not to work on a car, we'll have videos on our channel that will teach you all about that as well. So guys, I want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses fuses relays circuit breakers something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere you don't have a replacement one you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced so what we do we usually buy some spare ones we put in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time